Hello everybody, welcome back to the Money Shift YouTube channel. I am Thanasi and today is an exciting day because we are adding another vehicle to the file fleet. Yes, that is correct. We have a Tesla Model 3 standard range and that is very important because just like this Polestar 2, this is the base standard fare that Tesla offers. So without further ado, I'm gonna hand you guys the keys and we're gonna take a walk around and compare what Tesla offers in their base model versus what Polestar offers in their base model. Here you go. With the keys in your hand, the first car we're gonna be taking a look at is the 2022 Tesla Model 3. Now this is the rear wheel drive model. So for $46,990, you get 272 miles of usable range with a 5.8 second zero to 60. Now the biggest change Tesla made for 2022 is taking out that chrome trim and putting in black trim and what that did for this car is it made it look a lot more aggressive for a vehicle that tesla didn't really take many design chances with so that it looked more classic for the long term contrast that with the polestar 2 and even though we're looking at a dual motor here the single motor base model car looks exactly the same for 48 400 you get 243 miles of usable range yes even though this car has a hundred percent epa estimated range of 270 like the tesla model 3 only 243 of that is usable on a day-to-day -day basis conventional looks hatchback instead of sedan the polestar looks dynamite but i'm curious to think which one you think looks better so let me know in the comments as we get inside the tesla model 3 the first thing that stands out with this car isn't the screen it's this steering wheel. It's tiny. While the materials they used are good, the two scroll wheel buttons are nice. It is tiny. Gone is the gloss black. In is matte black for 2022. And also the wood wraps all the way around onto the door cards. Love that. Love that change for the Model 3. Now the Model 3 comes standard with this infotainment screen. That is correct. For $46,990, you get access to the full suite of features in the Tesla Model 3. It means you can watch Disney+, Plus, TikTok, Hulu, Netflix, YouTube, Twitch, whatever you want. You have access to all those cameras and sentry mode, the dash cam, all that jazz. Standard, standard, standard. Dual zone climate, standard and this car is smart enough to understand that i am the only one in this vehicle so because of that it is only going to be blowing air on me okay this entire wind channel in the back you know it well you've seen tesla videos but that comes standard there's heated seats at every position of this vehicle front back and center back you also have a heated steering wheel in this vehicle and again, that is standard. You have two wireless charging pads, standard, tons of storage. You have autopilot, which is lane keep and radar cruise. Now, if we transition to the Polestar 2, you notice a couple things right off the bat. The first thing that you notice is behind that steering wheel, there is a screen. And then you have an infotainment system to your right, much like a traditional vehicle which is great it's going to be appealing to a lot of people what isn't is the size of this steering wheel and the fact that there are buttons on this steering wheel for radar cruise and there are buttons for lane keep but you need a $3,400 pilot pack in order to get access to those. Now, this infotainment system is powered by Android. This is a Google-based system, and it works tremendously well. You have access to Google Maps right out the gate, and you have Google Assistant to help you make any commands or questions you might have along the way. And because you have a screen behind the steering wheel and Google Maps, you have the access to have Google Maps on the screen in front of you. Now, what this car does not have is wireless charging what this car does have is gloss black but in its favor is the materials while this doesn't have a vegan leather it's built stout and it's built well so even though it doesn't have some things that the tesla does you're okay with it because of the quality of how this car is constructed as we step into the back of this model 3 i'm six feet 285 pounds and i just want you to know that i fit in here 
remarkably well. And thanks to this glass roof and all this glass that surrounds me, I don't feel claustrophobic at all. I actually have a good amount of headroom, decent enough legroom, USB-C charging. This is a fine place to be for short trips. Going into the Polestar 2, however, even though this vehicle is a little larger, I have similar levels of legroom, but I have counted zero headroom. None. Zero. My head is literally touching the roof of this car, which is kind of wild considering the size difference in these machines. So where does that shake out in terms of which one of these vehicles is better? Well, it depends on what you want. If you're looking for features, right, bells and whistles, gadgets and gizmos, the Tesla Model 3 is your car. Not only do you have heated seats at every point and a heated steering wheel, but you also have autopilot, which is lane keep and adaptive cruise control. You have the ability to watch YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, all that jazz. Everything that comes on the most premium Model 3 is available in the base fare. But the Polestar 2, by comparison, is the exact opposite. For a more expensive starting price, you don't get access to adaptive cruise control. You have no advanced lane keep. You don't have a heated steering wheel. You don't have wireless charging pads. You don't have any of that. If you want to have a similarly equipped, okay, Polestar 2 to this Model 3, you're going to be spending $53,000. That is $7,000 more than the base price of this Model 3. So in summary... The Tesla Model 3 packs a lot of tech, features, range, efficiency that the Polestar 2 just can't match. While the build quality and the materials of the Polestar 2 are a cut above the Tesla, the fact of the matter is the Tesla is an easier car to use and you get a lot more for your dollar in this car. And we didn't even touch on the fact that the Tesla at this stage has access to that supercharging system. I am Thanasi. This is Money Shift. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.